supposed to have been lovers in our past, so I can't believe that he's become this dreadful, dreadful man. It's shocking as it goes on. Um, there are a few scenes I'd like to tell you about. Uh, this one in particular. We were on our way to Catalina, and um, the sailboat came and smashed into us, and our boat just sort of peeled over like this. And a few minutes after that, Ted said, oh, Francine, you have to go out in this dinghy. I said, oh, 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 there's no way that I'm going to go out in that deep, dark water in that dinghy. I don't swim. In fact, in school, when we had swimming classes, I, had, I was hiding in the lockers. Everybody would say, oh, where's Francine? She's hiding in the locker. Of course, the day that they took the pictures for the school book, there I was, ready for my close-up. Such a ham. I haven't changed the fifth sense in a long time. Anyway, um, you'll notice in that scene, there's a rope on the boat. I want you to make a note of that. Now, uh, another scene of that, oh, you'll also see me holding these binoculars. Now, we, the boat was kind of going like this and this back and forth. I said, Ted, I can't stand here. I'm falling over the side. So there's Ted Michaels down on the deck holding my ankles. So when you see that scene, I want you to picture Ted down at my ankles holding me up. Um, one of my favorites and kind of fun is working with a wonderful tourist in town who I simply adore. She is just one of the great human beings. I know you all love Tura very much. She is a very special lady. Um, toward the end of the picture, we're chasing all the bad guys. And uh, we're in our jeeps, all the doll squad. And she says to me, big red bazooka. Well, <laughs> the first thing, I jump down, she puts a bazooka on my shoulder. Well, first of all, a bazooka is a very heavy, heavy weapon. And we'll have no more put that on your shoulder than the man in the moon. But every time she kept saying that, big red bazooka, I'd start to laugh. And she'd say, big red bazooka, and we'd laugh. Six takes later, four o'clock in the morning, we finally got the tape. Now, we shot in, um, uh, in, in the desert in Joshua Tree. So there we are, as they said, four o'clock, and all of our weapons are going off, all of the explosives, boom, boom, boom. And the fire department comes. Well, Ted Michaels, the director, forgot one little simple thing. Guess what? He forgot to get a permit. So all the people in the neighborhood thought that we were being invaded by something or somebody was bombing or whatever. It was very, very funny, but we, we did end up getting it and we worked until so six in the morning. Um, the last scene of the picture, uh, Ted and I had a really great argument over it. I mean, Ted sort of liked to have a confrontation anyway. And I said, Ted, we have to do it this way. He said, no, we're going to do it that way. I said, no, we're going to do it this way because I am the leader of the doll squad and I'm going to do this. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it is I don't want to spoil this great suspenseful moment that you're all going to be sitting on the edge of your seat just waiting to see But I will tell you in the Q&A how I created this scene. It was <laughs> One thing about me, I'm terribly modest. <laughs> anyway, after we're going to show, I guess, about 12 minutes of some trailers, and then I all want you to sit back and watch Gone with the Wind. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's a doll, but I can't. <laughs> see you at the Q&A. <laughs> Thank you.